Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome for the first time. This is Ash with Another One's Treasure and I am here um, to show you guys something I've been working on. Excuse my very inky hands. There was a re-inking explosion yesterday. <laughs> it uh, uh, luckily came up off the desk mostly, but yeah. Anyway, so I... I know I saw this idea somewhere, and I've definitely seen Margaret from Seventh Plaza, Seven Plaza, do, uh, maybe she didn't overlap them, I can't remember, but she's definitely done something similar, um, I could have swore I saw somebody do almost exactly this, but I'm sorry, I can't remember my inspiration to give credit where credit is due, but here we are. And these are the two that I played with last night. This one's on like deli wax paper. And um, only one of the sides was like adhering or like absorbing. So like you'll figure it out if you try this on wax paper later. One side stamps easier. Um, so this one was my more grungy look. This was the first one I did. And then I wanted to go for a softer, more romantic look because I'm working on a project for uh, the Facebook group for Ginger's Corners having uh, an embellishment swap this week. So I'm making tickets for that. And I wanted one of the sets of tickets to be like love themed. So I wanted to make like a romantic one. So my inspiration for this was sending my love, which is, you can see like some heart stamps, some florals, some typewriter some stamps. So yeah, I I really like the way this one turned out. And the background was like a sheet of um, just, uh, what is it called? Like copy paper, but it had like a print, an existing print on it. So I guess like a sort of stationary paper, but it was just like a very faint marbled, gray marbled background. And this is, like I said, the Not sure why we stopped recording, but we're back. Um, so yeah, I thought we would go ahead and make one together in case you hadn't seen this idea yet and um, maybe you want to give it a go. And I just, I have so many stamps and I need to use them more. So this is, I've been trying to like compile a list of stuff to do when I'm bored but don't necessarily have a project or have the energy to work on a project. So yeah, uh, let's see. The background stamps I picked out for this one are the, like some fragments from Stampers Anonymous. Um, I believe these go this way. It's like a gate and a street lamp post. I might not use this one. This was part of the ink spill, it looks like. Um, they're a little grungy for what I think I want. And then just, these are, I'm fairly certain from Hobby Lobby, but I don't know which line. But it's just a couple of script fonts that are kind of illegible. And then like a library definition. All right, I'm back with inks. <laughs> Sorry, um, got to this point and realized I didn't have any inks picked out, so. I think this is the color palette I'm going with, kind of monochromatic, all sort of red shades or tints, and then just an archival um, black ink. Okay, so where to start? I think text. Probably the big illegible one. Oh, let me get this guy. Yeah, I love the master board idea. Oh my goodness, clearly I've never used this before. Uh, the master board thing, uh, especially with scraps, or not especially, but even with scraps, like I first encountered it. Um, 
I love making those and cutting them up and seeing what you get. So I'm excited to see what becomes of this. However, I haven't been able to bring myself to cut them up yet. I think I might scan them first just to have, um, yeah. And then that way I can feel more confident in cutting them up. All right, very cool. So I'm just gonna do this one a couple more times. Uh, sorry, you can't see this, but it's going down. I'll move the ink down here. Push this out. There we go. Uh, let's do this. Oh, gonna need a flat surface there. Couple more partial ones, I think. So I'm only gonna ink part of the stamp. Oh, I inked the whole thing. Oh well. You ever just like work yourself into a corner on your desk? All right, moving on. I'm bored with this stamp. All right. So, uh, you go with one of the lighter shades of red. I guess this one's the middle one. Hmm. Which one next? I think I'm going to do one of these. So I've only tried this one so far, and it's kind of like the... Well, <clears throat> almost like a negative print. So... Which one's more romantic? I think, I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, oh, this is messy. Alright. Uh, can't really get the ink all the way on there. Must be a little dry. Alright, let's see. Oh, there goes something. Ooh. All right, more of that. And don't be afraid to start overlapping because they'll all be overlapped in the end. Might as well get it over with. Also, don't let corners and all that get away from you. And I like to occasionally do a couple of stamp offs on the project because I find um, it adds depth with the varying levels of ink. And since it's a collage, I turn it around. It's not gonna matter if it's directional. It's 
especially if we're cut, cutting it up. Was there that much ink left on that one? Uh, all right, let's move on. Ooh, stamps are sliding. This one has the definition of affection, so maybe I'll try that one out. Let's see how that goes. I think I'll stay with this shade. Should have switched ink color. Oh, not much left on that one. So now I'm just gonna kinda do quicker stamps. Ooh, what was that? Pen cap. Kind of filling in the background. I think that's enough of that. All right, let's do some some uh, focal points stamps. This over there. Okay. I don't think I'll do this big old guy again. Industrial looking. I like that bird though. Let's try the bird. Alright, let's see what this burgundy color is all about. <laughs> Monochromatic might be tricky. Ooh, maybe not though. Kind of twisting it as I go. Maybe I'll do an Austin. Yeah. Ooh, cool. She can tell that. Ow. All right. I feel like it needs another. little bunch of flowers. All right, 
Now let's do Regal Rose. Oh, my arm's kind of sore. This desk is up too high. That's pretty. Okay, I think a couple more of the flowers. We'll see what else needs to make an appearance. All right, this is what we have so far. Not too bad. Change my mind. I need a little bit more in this corner. Eh. We'll see. Hmm. What do we think? Like a butterfly? I'm trying to keep it small so like it doesn't get all chopped up when I go to make this smaller and use it. Oh gosh. Okay. Smaller. Let's do the burgundy. It must be this one. All right. I should turn it. I'm doing them all the same direction. Okay, what do y'all think? I think it might be good. You know, maybe that some of these light pinks on the wax paper might not be so great for the filming aspect, but yeah. Okay, now I've built my confidence and I can probably start cutting these up. Thanks for going on the ride with me, y'all. And if you enjoyed this, Drop a comment and let me know that you stopped by. And 
If you're not yet, we have a lot of fun over in the Facebook for Ginger's Corner and stick around and you'll see what I'm making the people that I'm swapping with this week. So yeah, until next time. Bye.